So we're here in Clovis, California. We just came out uh, for emergency repair. The uh, customer uh, called and let us know that uh, a water line had collapsed and uh, broken. It was spraying. Uh, it was a braided stainless steel line. We've got it on our truck. I'll take a picture of that in a minute. But uh, So instead of the corrugated copper or corrugated stainless, it's braided and it's got an inner hose. It burst and so water was spraying from here uh, all the way up to here. You can see the water. That should dry out. And then of course you got water on the ground out here. Um, they've got a metal cap on top of the water heater stand. So you might have a little bit of water. You know, I mean, it should dry out. I'd keep... What I would do is move all these paint cans away from the water heater, number one. That's that's a hazard. Uh, but also, just to get a fan out here and blow it on the sheetrock, it should be okay. It should dry out pretty well. And um, so we got a new connector on. These are Falcon stainless steel connector, full, in, full three quarter inch inside diameter. Tied in right back into the tank, right back into the hot side. And like we quoted you over the phone, it's just a mechanical joint. So 125 for that replacement. The homeowner or the tenant did shut the gas off to the water heater. And uh, so we relit it for them, turned the gas back on, relit it. And um, so now, you know, we should get some uh, uh, some hot water out of this. Uh, anyways, we'll check everything, make sure it's good before we go. You got a couple other issues here and whatnot. But as long as this thing works when we're gone, we'll be okay. We did note right here, you can see this gas line is bent about, well, it's it's past 90 degrees and it's cracked. And here it's cracked. That's just the coating that's cracked, by the way. But it's thin stainless steel tubing, so you couldn't have a problem as far as uh, any more movement at all. If this thing gets, uh, you know, when it's bent, it's fine. But if, you, if it comes back the other way, you could crack this line. So uh, it is a safety issue, and I'd recommend replacing it. Totally up to you. Not trying to sell you anything, but we do need to document this stuff over here. We did take a gas detector tool and check. No leaking. So anyways, outside of that, this uh, repair is done.